folks, welcome back to Soma on Beefnopolis Horror Story. I am Alex Beefnaw. Alright, yeah, uh, busy season at my day job has happened. Now, normally it's Soma that gets thrown under the bus when I have to work late. Well, fuck that. I would like to finish playing this game. Um, I, I, I like this game, and I suspect we may be possibly getting close to the end game. And I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to play it. So, maybe we'll, maybe I'll have time to do bucket list tonight. Maybe I won't. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, before I leave this room, because I'm sure that once I, once I leave this room, and once I head in down into the Dunbat room, I'm sure that everything is going to go directly to shit. So, uh, I keep meaning to discuss this, and it never really happens because uh, horrible monsters keep ch chasing me. But here's the thing: um, one of the one of the uh, uh, things that people who don't like Soma have said that they don't like about it is, well, it doesn't tell you anything. I, you go into this, and you wake up in this station, you have no idea why, you have no idea where you are, and you had to find out all this all the plot shit through like tablets and terminals and shiny papers. Okay, you know that's that's your opinion. I respect that. It's valid. Um, it, and if we all like the same shit, this would be a very boring world. But see, that's exactly why I like it so much. Because if I, if you were to find yourself in this situation, that's how it would go down, dude. I mean, you would not have a manual or an NPC sitting there where you come into the game to explain everything at you. No. You would have to walk around and piece the shit together yourself. And that that's just how it is. Alright. So there's a, a huge fucking door that I can supposedly get through now. And god, I need to find a Healy thing real soon. Or I'm gonna be in trouble if another thing comes at me. Alright, so allegedly... Okay, yeah. Oh, also, when Catherine uh, revved the Dunbat up, um, she, she kind of made some noise about, oh, that's weird. Oh, never mind. I guarantee you, whatever that is, is going to bite us in the ass. Oh, this way. I guarantee you, we're about to get bit in the ass by whatever that was. That's the intercom. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a button. No? Push that button? No. No, can't really do anything with that. Okay, well, what the shit. How about I just go over here? How about I do that? I turn my flashlight on so I can see where the hell I'm going. Okay, is there a... Well, shit. Nothing I can poke there. Possibly some shit that I can poke here. No. Okay. God. Alright. Uh, okay. No, I, I obviously have to poke something. Okay. Let's go around here. We haven't been around here. Can't poke those. Can't poke those. Oh, there's a... Ah, oh, well, shit, that's... There's a, a red thingy on there, which means I can't poke... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. There we go. Okay, Catherine? Um, can you do something with this for me? Uh, apparently not. Okay. How about... Okay, cat, you gotta get down. Come on, buddy. Okay. Oh, here's here's something. Oh, nope. That's not something I can poke. Okay. Hey, buddy. Alright, see you later. Um, uh, that's a camera. No? Oops. Yep, no. Nope, okay. Oh, well shit. 
That explains it. Uh, shit ain't plugged in. So can I plug the shit in? Can I plug it in? Uh, well, look, look. There's there's a plug, right? Oh, 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 uh, uh. There we go. Plug. There we go. Ready. Oh, good. Yes, please. Close that door. Alright, I guess we can just twiddle. System's active. Okay. Yes. All systems okay. Preparing release. Ready for release. Release in progress. Ah, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Okay, what just happened? Ugh. <sighs> What the fuck just happened? Okay, the Dunbat just went batshit. Um, Catherine? Would you mind explaining what the fuck just happened? Who was in the Dunbat? Oh, now it's yellow. Son, you gotta move. Oh, great. Fucking great. Alright. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's probably what Catherine was uh, weirding out about. <sighs> oh shit! Uh, am I okay? Um, hello, game. What what are you doing? Okay. Oh shit. Uh, plan B. Achievement unlocked. All right, great. Are we auto saving? Huh. Oh shit. Oh god. Uh come on, come on, Simon. Okay, we're all right. We're okay. We're fine. Just fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. How are you? How are you? Oh. How about I turn the flashlight off? Okay, good. Here's a... Excuse me. Here's a thing. Okay. Where the fuck are we now? Ugh. Uh, oh good, there's a Healy thing. Stand up, Simon. All right, touch the Healy thing. There we go. That's better. Ah. Ah, Healy thing gives me life and possibly ew. Also structure gel. Great. Where the fuck are we? Catherine. Oh, that's right. Catherine is not hooked up right now. 
Oh, hey, 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 shiny paper. Okay, is that the Ark? I guess that's the Ark, okay. Nothing I can poke there. Uh, Multipurpose volume and MRI. I'm, I'm not sure why I would want to get in that. Oh, hey, here's a, here's a term. Oh, wait, more shiny papers. What the shit? Okay, this looks important. Let me write this bullshit down. RX5 21358LM BX 920000TY XX 0001118A. Okay. Next. Prep arc with signal transmitter. Okay, yes, thank you. Power packs, tools, extra os uh, the oxygen, P2 permissions. Okay. Okay, this is this is the plan. Okay. Change to HPS. Ride the climber into the abyss. What the fuck is a climber? Uh, check on Tau. Anyone alive? Shuttle Omicron. Fuck. Okay. Access tunnel defy. Launch arc. Okay. What is this? Hamatsu power suit. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the blah blah blah. Start with the legs. Fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock the pieces as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and torso. Well, I'm fucked there. Uh, attack the <laughs> secure button on your arm piece. You're here the suit seal itself. Suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap in the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Okay. High pressure diving suits need to undergo a mandatory maintenance. Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I need to worry about oxygen poisoning and death uh, since I'm already kind of but hey hey I cannot read oh there's Catherine I cannot read anybody else's handwriting here what's that okay all right here we go documents my decision I decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've had the scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all show me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Okay. What's left? Apply interface module. Seal art capsule. Ask permission from 4Q. Brief of Ashkin, Linwall, Peterson, and Hill. Take uh, shuttle to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber into the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet. Launch arc. Oops, wait, there, there's more shit here. Arc locator. It's at Tal. Right, okay. Arc attitude survey. Recently, it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. That being, huge comets became crashed into us. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and we should spend as much time and resources needed to clear. Well, um, yeah, that's about all we fucking can do down here. Saving. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how... Well, yeah, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the Ark is fit to, built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, technically survived for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun distant sharks. Um, yeah. It's not going to do any fucking good down here at the bottom of the ocean, is it? The digitization, digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we're at risk of losing our humanity if we are to rid ourselves of disease and mortality. Um, 
I don't know. I I'm gonna mildly I actually there's neither there's not a neither agree nor disagree option. There's not a I have no fucking clue option here, so I'm going just a gentle gentle disagreement. There are only fifty eight people left alive to be stored inside the Ark, a way to diversify and expand the population would be to include, introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. Yeah, I, I think maybe some, uh, some artificial people would be good. Let's see. Uh, Ark approval, strongly agree, 76. Eternity Among the Stars, strongly agree, 68. Inferior Companions, um, I have a slight plurality. Pain for Gain, strongly agree, agree. Artificial Evolution is pretty evenly split. Okay. Okay. That was fun. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, oh, is, there, is there a spot to plug Catherine in? Yeah, there we go. So, Catherine, what the fuck just happened? Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we I did. I guess. Right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. <laughs> Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Oh, Come well. On. We can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first Possibly place? Possibly by using the whatever they didn't the, use the fuck it is. The only other way would be the climber at Omicron. Yeah. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. Uh, you know, so yeah. you don't implode while in the abyss. Yeah, that would be bad. That does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Okay. Wait, what is this place? I don't know, you tell Seems me. Seems to be a lot of information on the arc here. There's a prototype and everything. Really? Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Oh, fuck. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Okay. That sounds like a good... No, oh, fuck. You didn't know how to get us on? <laughs> how difficult could it be? Oh, great. Okay. Um, folks, I'm actually... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm, not, I'm gonna plug that in later. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna call it a night. And uh, we'll, we'll play with some stuff next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.